All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another week of an Us Takeover. It has been uh, an exciting uh, last two weeks with uh, last week being Nicole. This week we have Audrey. She played, um, if you guys seen the movie Us, Elizabeth Moss, who is incredible in that film and starting to slowly become the queen of horror, um, is in the movie Us, plays uh, their friends in the movie, and Audrey had the distinct pleasure of playing the tethered version of Elizabeth Moss' character. Audrey, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing great. <laughs> yes, you're getting me all excited. I'm thinking about it again. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, first and foremost, and I talked to Nicole about this, uh -huh. I, I, me, uh, me and my, my buddy absolutely love this maze. This was probably in our top three for favorites of 2019. Um, yes. at least it was number two for me and number one for my buddy, but I just absolutely love this maze. I mean, I love this movie. When I saw this movie, I was blown away because I really thought, what if this is all true? Um, <laughs> And they made it even worse this year, because last year, because they were like, okay, let's take that movie and design it into a maze. Let's bring it to life. Um, and we were just so excited to go through this. Uh, set pieces were amazing. Um, they really, and I, and I keep saying this time and time again, but they really love to take an hour and a half to two hour films and sum them down for five minute experience for you to walk through. And they nail mm -hmm. it every year. They did so with this one. Um, especially your scene. I mean, your scene is at the point of the movie where uh -huh. I think I was the most blown away because that was at the point of the movie where you find out there's more people that are tethered. Um, yeah. Tell me what it was like to, to bring yeah. that role to life because, you know, you uh -huh. see it on film, but to bring it to life for guests to actually get scared and see it, I mean, it must have been an exciting moment for you. Oh, my God, yes. It, and it was like... It was just so much fun. It was my favorite part of the movie, too. It was right. shocking to see. Um, and it was just so fun because I got to do, I got to cut myself in the mirror. Right. So I'm, like, staring at my mirror. I have a prosthetic. <laughs> I can, like, they they just gave me rain to, like, really, like, build tension. <laughs> and then you could, like, turn. And there's just so much to play with right. in that moment. And then she, like, has this, like, maniacal laugh and... There's just oh, yeah. a lot going on. She has like a lot of self hatred. She's going wild on people, and right. and then it's... the element of having text my husband there too. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just because that is a huge turning point in the film. Like that is like yes. when the film takes a big turning point when you find out there's more tethered. There's obviously some sort of plan of them coming out of hiding for the first time to take over, uh, to, to yes. really bring in that hands across America message and. It's uh -huh. just it's just a huge turning point. It was a huge shock because like literally it's one minute the family's just sitting there, the next minute uh -huh. something happens and then they just all die. And I was just I remember being in the theater yeah. like, What just happened? Like yes. what's, what's going on? So it, uh -huh. it, it it was a huge shock for me. And so reliving uh -huh. that moment in real life, it was really cool to see uh you had obviously yeah. um them dead on the floor and then you guys portraying yeah. the tethered versions of them, which I thought was awesome. Uh, yes, and especially yes. your uh, your character because yeah, you did bring up the uh -huh. whole cutting in the mirror and stuff, and that was a very yes. very creepy scene in the film. I remember of her yeah. just like cutting herself, like trying to make herself look pretty because her her opposite like thrived on her being uh -huh. beautiful and everything, and uh huh, and then uh -huh. of course her cutting herself, and then like she starts crying, but then she starts laughing about it, which I thought. What, yeah. What, what do they enjoy pain? What what I don't know, but Oh yeah, like she's living for it. Right. Like you know, that's how I see it. They were down there underground, you know, just like couldn't fully break out right. and like now they're just like fuck everyone, you know. And <laughs> yes. I think it's like a total release, you right. know. No. And it, she's like, "Oh yeah." She's it's... like seeing her she like, "Oh, sorry. Go ahead." No, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> um but it's, it's <laughs> such a fun – I mean, this movie is just – it's all over the place, and it's, it's awesome. It's great. I mean, Jordan Pill, yeah. you know, I, and I was talking a lot about how he did it. He brought us Get Out, and I was, uh -huh. very, I was very skeptical about it because I was like, okay, this is a guy who did Key and Pill, 
Uh-huh. Right? A funny yeah. show. Great, funny show. Funny skits. I love Key and Peele. Right? Yeah. I mean, it brought us yes. some of the funniest skits. The substitute teacher, you know. Oh, my God. A bunch of funny, yeah. like, little skits. Uh, they did a they, they did a movie together called Keanu about a little cat, yes. which I thought was so cute and funny at the same time. Um, yeah. They're geniuses. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then you get Get Out, that his directorial debut. You don't know what to think about this movie going in. And then you watch this movie, and it's surprisingly mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Like, Get Out changed the game. Right. It's incredible. It really, it really did. And then yeah. at that point, I'm like, okay, that's one movie right there. Let's see how it, let's see what his next movie will be like. Then a couple years later down yeah. the road, he announces us and you're like, okay, you're not giving uh-huh. much as to what this movie is. First trailer drops and you see yeah. there's clones of these people. You're like, okay, from what the trailers just gave us, it was, you only ever saw the clones of them. Right. Which right. Is why right. when your scene comes in about, it was a huge shock for everybody because everyone didn't know there was more to it than just them. Um, yes. So, yeah, us comes out yes. it's a global success uh people uh-huh. love it uh and jordan pill is back on the map he's still doing stuff to this day from producing uh directing he i know he's the the host of the twilight zone the reboot of that mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. fantastic uh mm-hmm. love uh, was it called lovecraft uh, count, uh uh-huh. country country Just, country lovecraft yeah country. i think it was country count, country yeah just premiered on hbo uh uh-huh. my dad has told me nothing but great things about it. He's a producer on that as well. Um, uh huh. So I, I mean, watched it. It's tight. Is it it's good? really good. It's really good. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, you gotta watch I, it. I heard that there's mm-hmm. like a mixture of sci fi and horror and a bunch of different creatures and I'm just sold on that aspect alone. So Yeah. It's I, so cool. I think that Jordan Peele, if he continues to go the way he's going right now with the producing and directing, coming out every now and then mm-hmm. to write and direct a film. Uh, mm-hmm. he's got something. Not to mention, he said himself he's not really a big horror fan, but he continues to shock us. He said that? He has said that in <laughs> interviews, that he's not the biggest horror fan, but there's something Weird. about directing <laughs> these movies that it's just like he, he's he got a, a talent for. I'm just like, this is weird, because I've heard that from also yeah. uh, Office star John Krasinski when he directed A Quiet Place. He's uh-huh. not, a, not a big uh-huh. horror fan, but I think that what attracted him to the project was it, was it being... Um, uh, like he j- he had just ki- he has kids so it was like a family film about protecting uh-huh. his kids and stuff so i think that's what his main okay. thing was about but it, it's right. insane okay. to see all these like comedians come out and make these yeah great movies i mean yes so, so yeah, cool it, I, yeah, I think comedians like understand timing really well i think mm-hmm. the two go together so well it's just like super fun to watch right. stuff and then yeah I think cool. they say too, if you can do comedy, you can pretty much do anything. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, comedy is hard. Comedy is the hardest. You gotta <laughs> you gotta time it right. You gotta know when to make people laugh. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's really hard to come up with material of that. So if you can do comedy, every other yeah. genre should be really easy for you. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. So let's <laughs> go back to the beginning with this. All right. So was okay. this was this your first year scare acting at Universal? It was. It was. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm a lucky bitch. It was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> How was it uh, going in? Was there a lot of nerves auditioning for this role? Did you audition just to? Did you just audition to get anything, or was this like a specific role you auditioned for? So yeah, I had no idea what mazes they were doing, right. but I was super excited for the audition. I've always loved horror movies, blah blah blah. Right. Super into it. Um, and I went in and it was the most fun audition ever. Like I, I was like a little bit nervous cause I was like, oh my God, there's, there's so many people. We're going to have to be acting crazy in front of like, you know, 20 people right. <laughs> and they probably have maybe like five or six people watching. Um, and, and then they just start like cranking metal music and they're like, nice. scare all these tones. And it was like, Fuck yeah! Like, all right, you, you know, like we cannot hold back. I can't hold back, or I'm gonna look stupid. So I have to like get in there. And, right. Like, I think I had a really stressful day, so it was just like super cathartic. Like, freaking out on these. Just let it all out right there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> just like freaky ballerina, like character came out of nowhere. <laughs> And then after I was like, oh, my God, dear God, I hope I get this. Right. I, was, like, I had no idea how fun it is, <laughs> you know? Right. So, yeah, immediately I was like, oh, my, this is incredible. This seems like a 
super fun event. Yeah. And super chill. I had been like working at Disney before. Oh, nice. So it was interesting to just, you know, to see how like everyone's chill at Universal right. and just like into it, you know. Hop up the, yeah. you go come down the five freeway, take the 101, and boom, you're back at yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Universal. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen brief clips and stuff of, like, audition processes when they brought, like, the Walking Dead property to the event um, a couple uh-huh, years back. Uh-huh. I've seen them, like, turn into zombies and stuff. So I see, you've only seen so many brief stuff, so that's why I'm always curious. Yeah. Um, I know not to give away, you know, obviously not to give away their secrets and all that, but I'm uh-huh, always curious to uh-huh. see how everyone's audition usually goes. Because um, I've heard yeah. auditions for, you know, Not Scary Farm, obviously. I've, I've seen how uh-huh. their audition process goes, but... Never okay. for uh, Horror Nights. It's kind of similar to Horror Nights, actually, from what I'm hearing now. So Okay, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, They're really organized. They, oh, yeah. like They pump you through. It's, yeah, it, it was awesome. Right. Was uh, so mm-hmm. you do the audition. Uh, uh-huh. I'm assuming you get, you get the call that you got a role, right? Yeah. A role, yes. Right. Yeah. So, and I was like, yeah! So they don't tell you much from there. They keep it secretive. They're like, okay, yeah. you got a role. We're not going to tell you much here, but when we when we announce more things, then we'll give you more details, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. It, they're like, oh, go to your costume fitting on one of these days, and you're like, okay. So you, I, I will find out then, I guess. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you get you get fitted for yeah. your costume. Um, uh huh. <laughs> are you from there? Are you hinted at what you might be potentially doing, or is it still kept kind of secretive? So like, yeah, red jumpsuit, glove. I'm like. Oh my God! Oh, it's an estimate. Yes, you know, it's an estimate. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was, I was like so excited. I was trying to keep cool. Yeah. Um, right. But then, and then I didn't know until they took me over to makeup. They're like, you got to go talk to like the the makeup girls. Um, and then they were like, we're gonna put a prosthetic on you every day. So you have to get there like a couple hours early. Right. Um, and I was like, press, cause like is that? And then I like kind of put it together. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that because I like cut myself? Or and they were like, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, the yeah. So I think you're Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> they weren't like totally sure yet either. So we were, but I was like, oh my god, I see. Right. What? It, it was cool. That's yeah. That's awesome. So uh, you so get happy, cast yeah. uh, in this maze. I also heard uh-huh. uh, Nicole was telling me actually Jordan uh-huh. had a lot to do, uh, a lot of say so in what yeah. went on in this maze. Yeah. They, yeah, they told us, um, like, at one of our scare academies that he ca- he cast it. He, they, like, sent him us, and he, like, okayed it. And he, yeah, he was super involved with the set design. There was a whole thing with, like, masks or no masks right. for the Reds and everything. And he was there for a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. She was, yeah. Nicole was also telling me that yeah. they sent in the choir, uh, choreograph, the co- uh-huh. photographer. I, I don't remember. I, I'm, this heat is messy with my yes. brain. <laughs> <laughs> Um, choreographer. But, choreographer. There we go. Um, <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, they sent uh-huh. them in the same one they used in uh, us to kind of give you guys yeah. the, the nail to the moves of how they move and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Madeline. Yeah. They like flew her down and she worked with us all in a space. And That's awesome. It was so cool. Right. We got to see, you know, like every, how much goes into it with red. We learned this, they do this, like, called the Pac-Man walk, you know, right. and she only walks in even numbers front and back. It, it's just all these, like, rules that, I, you know, you just wouldn't know. That's like, so awesome. What all goes into it. I mean, I didn't realize yeah. how much preparation actually goes into these mazes. Like, they, I mean, I guess yeah. with Hollywood's reputation, they have to really get everyone on board as to who they're playing and get them into that headspace and that role, which I think is amazing. Yeah. That, that really gives me more love and respect for this event. Um, good yes that's yeah. like what i want to convey is that they really like care about every detail right and they really like want the whole experience to come through it's, it's cool right. inspiring you right. know so yeah you got your character you got the moves uh-huh. down uh-huh opening night comes how uh-huh. was opening night i heard i heard jordan walk through the maze i, I heard that uh-huh. the kids walk through the maze uh-huh. how, how was opening night yes. for you Oh, it was so exciting. Such a thrill. So exciting. Um, Eli Roth came through ours, oh. which is fun. He, like, looked and saw the whole thing, and he went, beautiful. Yeah, I love him. <laughs> I was like, I know. He's great. He's such a gem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's so spooky. Yeah. So That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. Eli Roth, <laughs> man. It, it, every time I think of Eli Roth, the first movie I always think about with him that always gets me uh-huh. is uh, Inglorious Bastards. 
Yes, yes. I love the Mandalorian I watched that one Bastards. Other day. And yeah. It, he's so great in that. He plays the the bear Jew, which is one of the funniest uh-huh. scenes, I think, in, in a lot. Of, like, I, I remember me and my cousins uh-huh. go seeing that movie when it came out. We're all busting up mm-hmm. in the theater because of what he's doing. Is We thought it was hilarious, and everybody's just looking at us like we're <laughs> crazy. It's like, you guys don't find this funny? Like, come on, dude. It's, it's yeah. not wrong. Come it on. is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. He's in it. He gets it. He, yeah, he's, he's like, great. He gets it. He's amazing. I mean, not to mention he he is the founder of one of the most popular Monster Universes mm-hmm. Online, Crypt TV, which is always playing at Halloween Horror Nights itself. Um, um, yeah. And I'm, I'm huge fan right. of Crypt TV. I, I'm hoping one year that they get together and they can work with Horror Nights to make an amaze with them. That'd be really cool to see that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That would be cool. That would be dope oh to see God. all these monsters come out. And, you know, you have looks like <sighs> the Mordeo. All these different monsters come out would be really cool. But Yeah. So they get to walk through. Uh-huh. Did you get any good scares on any good celebrities? I know a lot of celebrities come and go to these events as well. Uh, uh-huh. any, any fun scares uh-huh. that you remember from celebrities walking through? We got Lizzo pretty good. She, <laughs> she had a beautiful scream, though. She was like, ah! You know, like a gorgeous Lizzo. <laughs> like, right. It was a gift to us, really. But <laughs> she was good. Seth MacFarlane, we scared him pretty good. Him. He was just like talking about it the whole. He was just like, "Oh my god!" And then the guys there, and then, "Oh my, it was you look crazy!" <laughs> <laughs> like narrating it right. as he goes. You know, <laughs> uh, I think we got Tiffany Haddish pretty good. She went she in. Now she was, was. Did she do a thing with Ellen DeGeneres? Right? Was that the yes. one that was on Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I look forward to watching those every single year. Because Andy uh-huh. is like the funniest. Like that is my dream to just scare that guy. It's hilarious. <laughs> So funny. He's so easy to scare. Like, I don't too. know how yeah. you guys can keep character when someone like that is walking through because I would just bust up laughing. Oh my God. I was lucky because I could laugh. I couldn't make sound because right. Dahlia doesn't make sound doesn't come out. But like if something like that happened, luckily I could kind of use it to fuel and then turn it sinister. But right. <laughs> yeah, because people are hilarious. Oh, yeah. Like, falling on the ground, pushing each other. <laughs> crazy <laughs> and you're just standing there like hey i'm i'm psycho what's up <laughs> yeah yeah staring deep into their souls I know. <laughs> yeah that, that's yeah. awesome i mean yeah like i said so, so many fun. so many famous people always show up to these events like i've i've ran into yeah. a couple I, I remember actually waiting in line for um for us and my i'm not a really big basketball uh-huh. fan my, my uh photographer is and we were waiting in line uh-huh. and he's like oh my god that's lonzo ball he just passed by us like what the hell ah! and Lonzo Ball oh walks into God. the maze and I was like oh I, I don't know who that is but hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> the basketball player I guess yeah um, there were a ton of basketball players right I think Kobe came through too oh, one night God rest his soul I know rest in peace yeah yeah Kobe um there's someone else too I was gonna tell you oh oh um John Legend oh Snuck yeah up on I heard me. him and uh Chrissy <laughs> Teigen walk through uh-huh. Right. Yeah. They were so cute. I think they were a little tipsy. It was cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the best to get them when they're a little drunk because the, the scares yeah. are ten times worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's so, so funny. Yeah. So opening night, obviously, filled with adrenaline. Um, uh-huh. And then once you get past that opening night, you got the middle of the season and ending night. Middle of the uh-huh. season happens. Uh-huh. Uh, how is it? between opening night and then going for the rest of the season it must is it tiring is it a lot of what does it put a lot on your on your a toll on your body like what what, what goes on through oh yeah mindset? all of the above it's super intense right. um yeah your body like my neck and everything felt crazy the right. whole time because <laughs> you're just like slicing yeah. your neck every three seconds you got like a neck crack coming in every now and then it's like yes! <laughs> oh my god totally that happened a few times and i was like oh no <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, your body is just like, what are you, what's happening? This isn't natural. Right. You're staying up till four in the morning. Like, um, so we all got sick, you know, at the same time, but we're wearing masks and stuff. Um, but I don't know, our crew, I don't know if Nicole told you, I told you, but our cast was super tight, mm-hmm. which helped a lot. So we're yeah. like playing Uno backstage, like 
keeping each other going. And then on our breaks, a lot of times we would actually even go through the maze again. Yeah, she, like, she told me each that, other. which I think is a really cool yeah. opportunity that they let you guys do that. Uh, you guys get to experience yeah. the other the other mazes uh, on, yes. on your breaks, yes. uh, which is something else I wanted to talk to you about. Um, yes. what, for one, was this the first year you've gone to the event at all, or have you been to the event in the past? Yeah, so I just moved to LA not too long. So this is like my that was my first year in LA. So I hadn't right. been to the event at all. Right. So I had no idea the scale and like how crazy awesome so, it was. Yeah, last year's <laughs> yeah. last year's lineup was pretty solid. I mean, you had yeah. um uh-huh. House of Thousand Corpses, Holidays in Hell, uh-huh. Pandora's Box, Us, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Stranger Things, Ghostbusters, Creep Show, and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Um, no bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I think it was such a, a solid lineup. I mean, not to mention the yes. scare zones they had: Fallen Angels, Spirits and Demons of the yeah. East. Um, what was it? Uh, all Hall of Evil. Um, uh huh. What I that one? Uh, did you get to go through all the mazes and check out everything? I think we got it. Uh, we got to all of them. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah was... what was your favorite? It changed. Um, I really liked Killer Clown. Okay. It was wild. That was, yeah. That was, that was, I'm sorry, Us. I mean, I Us would have been my number one, but I love that movie uh-huh. to death and a passion. Yes. So when I found out yes. that property was finally coming to the event, I was just like a kid in a candy store walking through yes. that place. I had a feeling that was your favorite for some reason. Yeah. I, I was like, I wonder I which just, one is number one. I have a passionate love for that movie since I was like very small kid. And then Aww. I found out it was in Orlando, like in 2018, as a scare zone, and I wanted to go uh-huh. so bad. And then uh-huh. I wanted it to come to the event as a maze so bad, and then it finally did because uh-huh. they had done the same thing with Trick or Treat when it was at uh, uh-huh. Orlando for a scare zone. Then they brought it the next year as a maze over here in Hollywood. Uh-huh. So I was hoping they were going to do the same uh-huh. thing with Killer Clowns, and they did. And I made it my mission every time I went that I would have to go through. I went. I think I went to the event like a total of five or six times last year. Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yeah, and us and uh, uh-huh. Killer Clowns were like, like my buddy. We would go to. We had the Thursday Sunday pass, so my uh-huh. buddy got to go okay. like four times, and we only went through the Us maze twice with him. Uh, but Us okay. was his favorite maze, and he was like, Aww. the final night, he was like, I don't care what we do, I don't care what happens, we have to go through Us. And I was like, okay, we have to go through <laughs> Us, and we have to go through Killer Clowns. Those are the two we have to do. Other than that, I don't uh-huh. care what we do for the rest of the night. And we did it, yeah. and we have a saying. Um, if you don't know, it's an ongoing joke, but uh, uh-huh. Universal uses, like, a lot of black walls when they tend to, like, run out of a uh, little bit of a budget or something. Thankfully, okay. in Us, there wasn't – Us actually executed them perfectly, but um, in nice. other mazes in the yeah. past, there's been, like, mazes where it's just, like, a lot of black – like, House of Thousand Corpses is a big example of it, but – uh-huh. We had uh-huh. an ongoing joke, uh, me and my friend, that, you know, we're tired of seeing the black walls, so we want to see white walls. And us okay. delivered that. <laughs> yeah. Us yeah. delivered that. So every time we walk through it was. us, we walk through that scene, and then we always would yell, white walls, white walls, white walls. And <laughs> just walking down that thing, like, we were just so stoked to see white walls in a maze for once. And I was, like, just dying that oh my God. they did that for us. It's like they heard us prior to that, and they're like, yeah, let's just throw them in. <laughs> that's so funny after you left our room because of all the like hallways right. after yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 You, go, you, go, you leave the house you go back into the fun house again and then you go into the yes. other yeah it's yes. such a, yes. a fun uh thing to do so that's hilarious <laughs> so yeah killer clowns like, like i said is probably yeah. was one my, my number one and then us was two um, yeah what about three <laughs> three was probably ghostbusters yeah that yes. one was so cool it was yeah. awesome like i i remember going oh. into the event a lot of people were like kind of iffy about how this was gonna work because it's more of a comedy more than a than a horror and i'm like right they've done it in the past i think this will be the underdog of the event and sure enough yeah. this was a very popular maze i mean everything was beautiful yeah. I, mean, I just bought they have yeah. a video game uh that i bought for the nintendo switch that uh-huh. Like I, I, it just made me think about the when I when I when I bought the game, my only thought process was I love the maze, I love the movie, I gotta buy this game. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I, that's I, awesome. Yeah, Ghostbusters special effects and everything was great, and I, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. If we're gonna keep going down the list, next one probably be Pandora's <laughs> Box. Uh, oh Pandora's my god. Pandora's Box was unbelievably amazing. Like it makes me want more originals at the event. Like I know Orlando is yeah. famous for those. 
Uh huh. And seeing okay. Pandora's box, I was like, oh, this is just, this is a breath yeah. of fresh air. This is awesome. Those actors gave a hundred, one thousand percent too. <laughs> like, because we shared a backstage area with them, right. and they were always just like, "All right, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> always sweaty, like. They were the sweet, and they were all like, when they got off on their rigs, just exhausted because right. they're just in there giving it. Right. <laughs> like, lots of silt after. Some of them are in masks too. and stuff, too. So they're all probably yeah. sweaty and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not to yeah. mention, <laughs> it gets you, hot know, in there. you gotta love that Los Angeles weather, man. It doesn't, it, summer doesn't end here until like yeah. mid November, usually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's hot. It's yeah. always hot. Uh, luckily, yeah. there's been some nights in Horror Nights where I was uh, uh-huh. I was fortunate enough that it was nice and cool, and I and I always yeah. think about that for the for the actors per se. I'm like, man, some of these people have to wear masks and and their costumes are yeah. all long sleeve. Like, this probably weather helps them so much. Yeah. yeah. And then at night, you know, and we're our like outside our backstage area was outside, so right. at night, then we're like, oh my god, now I'm cold and I'm sweaty, <laughs> and I'm like. And there were like fires going on. It was crazy <laughs> at the time. It was a mix of hot and cold right there. You'd be very hot. You get outside. You'd finally cool down. Now you're really cold. And yeah. then you get back in. You're like, oh, I'm going back in the maze because I'm too cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me get back to work. Yeah. yeah I'm freezing. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, mm-hmm. End of the night comes, or end of the season uh-huh. comes. Uh huh. It's got to be a very heartfelt. Uh, ending to the season because you guys have already yes. all connected. It's probably at the point where you guys are just kind of getting used to things, mm-hmm. and then right when you get used to things, it kind of just ends. Um, yeah. How was yeah. the end of the night for you? The end of the season for you? Oh yeah, it was super emotional. We um, we always did this thing where when the last people come through, we like gang up on them right. as we go through the maze. So, like, we especially just were, like, messing with some people, you know. Right. Pluto was, like, always crazy and around. Right. So, that was, like, we had super extra fun. And then we all went through, like, again. <laughs> but everyone's just, like, crying. And <laughs> so, like, half the cast is awesome. going through. The other half is, like, you know, doing everything that they never got to do while right. staring. <laughs> Um, and then we like went outside and just had a love fest and yeah, all of our like coaches, all the people, everyone's like giving speeches and yeah, it was, it was crazy. Kind of like summer camp, you know, like we all just spent all of our time together and yeah, it's a, it's weird to adjust back to real life after that. I know, right. You get, you get, you get a whole, about two months to play a, a, an awesome like character You give it your all. Yeah. after that's over, you got to go back to reality. You're like, oh, I want to play that character forever, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. I know. All your friends, too, all the makeup artists and stuff, you know, you see them every day, too. And right. it's just a, like a big, happy horror family. Yeah. One thing I would I would try to do if I were to ever uh, do this is um, uh-huh. one thing I love doing is I was in theater in high school. So at the, oh, nice. at the, like yeah. the very, like, you know, when you do a performance for a, a show, you go multiple days on, on the very uh-huh. last day, um, after the show, we would group up, uh, in a circle and, uh-huh. uh, play Bohemian Rhapsody and sing it all together. Uh, and then wow. we, we had one person, which thankfully in my last two years of high school, it was me, uh, when the guitar solo came, would just slide in. And like air guitar the solo, and then go around in a circle, clap everyone's hand, and then just it just be a big <gasps> thing. We'd sing it, and <sighs> as it got more crazy, like that's when we did like kind of like a little mosh pit kind of thing, which was really fun. Uh, but it was always an oh emotional God. night because Bohemian Rhapsody was yeah. a special song for all of us, where uh, it Aww. had that, that sadness, and then like in the middle of the song, it got really fun and happy, and then towards the end again, it gets really sad because especially if you yeah. were a senior, uh, you know, it was the mm-hmm. countdown to your last show. Um, oh. So, Such emotions, yeah. Yes, I, I would love to like if I were to ever work one of these, like incorporate uh-huh. that to like, um, uh-huh. to to like to everyone. That'd be really fun to just do to get in a circle and just sing Bohemian Rhapsody, like screaming your guts yes. out. Could be like a new tradition yes. to carry on, you know? Totally. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds so good. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> so it finally ends. It's all over. Mm-hmm. You, you hang up the cape. Um, uh-huh. so what's it been like, uh, after you guys still all keep in touch? You guys still. All yeah, cool? we do. Yeah. We were lucky. Cause after we ended up having like 
two or three or four or five cast parties. Right. You know, it's like, oh, it's the cast party. Okay. Oh no, this is this <laughs> cast party. And so that that was like a nice for transition. We could hang out right. and like try different costumes on and like <laughs> be spooky in different ways mm-hmm. together. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I had I had some folks over a couple times, and um, uh, one of our one of the Abrahams is like an amazing drag dancer. Right. So a bunch of us went to his show, nice. and so we and we have a little we have a little chat um, on Instagram. So That's we good. we keep in touch. Especially, we do, yeah. Es- especially uh, with, with right now with everything going on in the world, this is like the best thing to keep in contact with everyone. So everyone's doing. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. being that the 2020 season got canceled, were there plans for uh-huh. you to come back again this year? Yeah, they actually had us like submit an audition or submit our photos and stuff. So right. it seems like a possibility. Um, and then I was like hearing rumors they were doing um, Invisible Man yeah. <laughs> with Elizabeth Moss. Elizabeth Moss returns. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> getting, I'm getting greedy over here. I know, right? You're like, oh, <laughs> I gotta be the one who plays all the Elizabeth Moss roles. I have to do it. <laughs> that would have been a cool. Uh, I if I would have saw you play another Elizabeth Moss role, though, I would have probably lost my uh, shit in the maze. Like, oh my gosh, she's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. And then imagine she actually walks through, and then boom. Uh, I was to hoping. See the real Elizabeth Moss, and you're like doing this for you <laughs> oh my god that would have been trippy yeah <laughs> no, I, I had heard rumors though too they were gonna bring yeah the invisible man which at one yeah. point i'm like okay how is this gonna work but at the same time like i absolutely fell in love with the reboot of invisible man it was kind of like its own thing yeah. in a way uh and it brought yeah. something new to that character where when uh-huh. i saw this movie i was just blown away of how from start to finish like the the mind games that he plays with her you know his, uh, you yeah. know, just throughout the entire film, and then like at the very yeah. end of the film, when you find out like all these all these things that I'm un- un- unravel, it's just insane. Like I just was blown away. So, yeah, yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, yeah, a whole other layer to it. Right. Yeah, her acting is so great too. She, like I said, yeah. she's slowly becoming like the new queen of horror. Uh, I love that. I, I could see yeah. her being like the next Jamie Lee Curtis or something. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's like, and, and she's gonna be like a, a serial killer in another movie coming up soon. Yeah, right? I heard she just signed Red another Fat. signed on with another Blumhouse pr- pr- uh, project too. Okay. So yeah. I, I don't know who she's yeah. playing in that, but it looks like she's got some deals coming through. I mean, yeah. Uh, I know Get Blumhouse it, is looking like they're slowly gonna start uh, revamping a lot of the classic monster movies. I think the next one in line uh-huh. is uh ryan gosling has an idea for the wolfman which actually recently just got approved for blumhouse uh-huh. so we're slowly nice. yeah we're slowly getting the dark universe that we tried to get when tom uh-huh. uh, tom cruise's the mummy was supposed to that was supposed to be the launch of like the reboot of the monster universe for universal uh okay sadly okay. it did so i guess it did so poorly in theaters that they just kind of abandoned the project which i really wish they didn't because okay. we were seeing yeah. names like uh javier bardon as um frankenstein um, oh my god we were seeing oh johnny depp as the invisible man we were seeing uh oh, angelina jolie as the bride of frankenstein like there was a lot of big names like i think her as the bride would have been a great casting choice yes like yes, she has absolutely that, she has that vibe where she can pull that off Oh yeah, yeah. She's so, got a fire. She's like powerful. Yeah, right. totally. So, yeah, that would have been Ugh. cool. I would have loved to see her all in the, yeah. in the with the crazy hair and the makeup and maybe look yeah. a, a little bit more freaky. But I would have loved to have yeah. seen. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of speculated stuff that was supposed to be coming mm-hmm. to the event this year. Uh, Invisible Man yeah. was one of them. Uh, Texas uh-huh. Chainsaw was another one. Um, oh man. Recently, this one got a little bit more confirmed uh, that it was uh-huh. it was going to come to the event, and that was at uh, Universal Orlando's uh, tribute store that they do for Halloween Horror Nights every year. They just opened uh-huh. up a Beetlejuice section of the the store, so uh-huh. Beetlejuice would have came to the event, which I hope they save that one for next year because I really want to see yeah. Beetlejuice so bad. Yeah, with, with, you know, yeah. With I can't believe they've been done that. Right. Yeah. I mean, he walks around the park, uh, and he was really okay. involved with the uh, Throwback Thursday nights last year at Halloween Horror okay. Nights. He was like one of the hosts. So, okay. 
it was only a matter of time where people were like, okay, if Ghostbusters works, Beetlejuice can work no problem. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So yeah. that yeah. was one. I know Billie Eilish, she was at the event a couple of times last year. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. So there was rumor that she was getting her own maze this year, which would oh have my been God. very interesting. I, I would like to see how they yeah. turn her music into a, a horror walkthrough. Um, yeah. It would have been cool. Uh, Universal Monsters cool. would have made a re- uh, return with, it, would, it, it was rumored to call be called The Brides. So uh-huh. I'm thinking The Brides of Frankenstein and, and The Brides of Dracula. I, I don't know. Okay. So that okay. was one. The uh, Brides. And nice. what was another? Oh, The Haunting of Hill House. Oh, tight. Oh, my would've, God. Would've With the like bent a, neck lady? Yeah. Would have been Ooh. like a huge, that would have been like one of the huge uh, big seller properties, like how Stranger Things was last year and the year before. Um, yeah. That and Beetlejuice would have been like the headlining properties, I think, of the event this year. Uh, so wow. not to mention in Orlando, it would have been their 30th anniversary doing the event. So they were going to go all out with all their icons and uh, past wow. stuff. So wow. a lot of fans are uh, sad, but yeah, what can you do? You know, I mean, we're just glad that <sighs> they didn't half ass and yeah. put out like a half ass show this year rather than just save it for next year right. and put on a bigger show with better quality and everything. So. I think totally, more fans totally. Just, more fans are just excited about that aspect, but yeah, I'm curious yes, to see what maze yes. you would have been put in in 2020. Uh, oh my god, so many I options. know. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, there was a, you know, you had Billie Eilish, you had Beetlejuice. I mean, these are just speculated, so I don't know how much are true, but yeah. uh, Invisible yeah. Man. I mean, Haunting a Hill House, yeah. Texas Chainsaw. There would have been a lot Dang. of options. That would have been fun. Yeah, there's lots of lady parts in right. there. <laughs> yeah. So I would have been excited to see uh, what you and uh, – I was talking to Nicole about the same thing, of what you guys would have picked, you yeah. know, or what would have came yeah. you guys' way. It would have been really cool. Um, yeah. And a simple text message like, hey, we're fun. coming through. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been fun. So I'm hoping a lot of the properties they have planned for this year come back next year. There's a lot of potential yeah. for great stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know, yeah. I know the three that I was looking forward to the most was, of course, I'm a huge fan of Universal Monsters. That Those have been great uh-huh. movies. Uh, Beetlejuice, yeah. obviously, and Haunting of Hill House. Those were, like, the three I was really looking forward to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. my God. Those sound amazing. Yeah, I would want to do Beetlejuice, I right. think, or Invisible Man. Yeah. Right. Ugh, I know. So, uh, um, dream about it. <laughs> right. Uh I, so I know you, it sounds like you're new to the whole kind of haunt scene. Have you had been to any other haunts mm-hmm. prior to this, or was this like the first time you actually experienced something like this? I did go to the um, Hayride, the oh, LA Haunted Hayride nice. one, and I loved it. Right. It was crazy. You went in we wait, you know, or? Yeah, oh, yeah, so I you was went, visiting. You went yeah. the good revamp year, which was the Midnight Fall storyline. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, it was 2018, okay. I think. No, wait. Sorry, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was 2018. So right. I was like visiting. Okay. So they revamped it. They revamped it last year. Okay. Uh, a company called Plague Productions stepped in, revamped the whole uh-huh. story. Uh, uh-huh. It's based around this town called Midnight Falls, who is in a time loop of uh, Halloween uh-huh. every night. So it's very interesting. Oh. You get to talk to characters, uncover clues as to what's going on. And then it ties into oh. the mazes, ties into the hayride. So it's it's a whole story. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. That's next um, level for yeah. sure. Yeah. There's that's rumor cool. that that's going to be – or not rumor, but they've come out and said that they're going to try everything in their power to make it happen this year, whether they have to do a drive through type haunt or whatever. They yeah. They want to do it. So. Okay. I feel like that could work, like yeah. a drive through Especially at the, uh, cool. the Griffith Park uh, Zoo. I mean, it's big enough for a drive through right. right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe they can. Yeah, a lot of those are popping up this season. I mean, we have one going yeah. on in OC. Stranger, they just announced a Stranger Things drive-in experience, which is going to be like you go through. It's oh like a whole, it's a whole hour interactive uh, theater kind of performance put on by things. So it's you drive through for the hour, and you get to see a bunch of scenes played out, which oh I am God. very excited to see. Um, oh, my God. That's if, so cool. If Hayride does do something, there's a lot of talks now that they're going to move uh-huh. to the drive, drive-through experience, which I think could be really fun too. So yeah, it's so proactive too. It's like I yeah, know. let's give it a shot, try it. They're yeah. they're trying everything in their power to try something new. You know, I mean, we're yeah. in this pandemic and we have to try everything possible. Right. So, uh, like if it, like 
it seems so like healing for people to be scared. Yeah. <laughs> so no. we need that right now. Yeah. I mean, that's see my channel, you know, we're active year round, but come time yeah. mid September all the way to early November. Like that's our busiest season. Cause we're hitting all these haunts. We're hitting, oh you know, we're doing God. all these reviews. We're interviewing so many people yeah. at that point. It's like, this is our yeah. busiest season yet. And it's like, we're trying uh -huh. to still figure out a way because I know a lot of home haunts are still happening. So a lot of people are going to be designing yeah. stuff and I'm excited for that. Okay. It looks like Six Flags yeah. might be happening. So I'm still trying to figure out oh, okay. everything what's going on. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. There's going to be some stuff. There's right. There's going to be some stuff. <laughs> I just, I just need yeah. a little bit of bone chilling scare for me. You know, it's like I need, yeah. to, feel, I need to feel some sort of scare during Halloween season. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have to. Making a trip out I get to, it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a trip out to Arizona like the first weekend because my uh, my co-host uh -huh. lives out there. Uh, we're going to do okay. some haunts out there, I guess, that are going to be open. So we're excited for that. Nice. Traveling. Nice. Doing a little traveling. Doing like a world tour. That's so fun. <laughs> Just going yeah. to the next state over. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arizona's cool. I know. I'm excited. It's pretty um, out there, yeah. So... Uh, now that you've been introduced to the world of the haunt scene, would you say you have the, the bug? You have the haunt bug on you now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I get it. I love it. I have the fever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, a, it was like addicting. It was so fun. Oh, yeah. No, that I've, I've, uh, trust, you don't have to tell me. I go every year and I look forward to it every yeah. year. And it's something yeah. that you look forward to every year. Like, how are they going to top out this year? Like, this year was so good. How are they yeah. going to top it out next year? Um, yeah it seems like they want to just get bigger and better oh yeah and longer every year yeah like, <laughs> we yeah. absolutely halloween horror nights is probably like i said up there one of my favorite events of all time um yeah. like i said i've been going since 2011 um yeah. that was when i was still in grade school and now <laughs> i am graduated <laughs> i got my own job i got my own car so i can go anytime i want whenever i want wow like, last year <laughs> Last year, I proved that. I was like, I'm buying the multi-day pass so I can go, like, Thursdays and Sundays. I don't care if I got to wake up. I don't care if I got to wake up at 530 in the morning for work. If I have to get, like, three <laughs> hours of sleep, I don't care. I want to go to these events. So worth it. Right? So worth it. Right? Yeah. I can't imagine going to that event, like, in high school. Right? That's amazing. Yeah, it like was a cool uh, little high schooler. <laughs> it was definitely something because that was like uh, yeah. I. The, so in 2008, I had went to Not Scary Farm for the very first time. I think I was okay. in like fifth or sixth grade. I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and I went. I think we were only there for like two hours, and then we had to leave because I just couldn't handle it. Yeah. 2011. So it was scary. Yeah, 2011. <laughs> It was the redemption year because my buddy had invited me out to Halloween Horror Nights for the first time. I was like, I okay. only I only lasted two hours at Knott's. Let's see. This is the, like the next step up. This haunt is even, uh -huh. even scarier than the other one. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. 2011 comes. I'm nervous getting up there. We finally get into the park. <laughs> We're doing it. We're good. And I have the time of my life, believe it or not. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much that so much so that I begged my dad like, hey, I want to start going to this event every year. Can you do me a favor and buy buy me tickets to this event every year? And my dad's like, well, if I'm going to buy you tickets, I might as well buy myself, myself a ticket. So we'll just start uh, going every year. So every year since, uh, every year since uh, 2012, when he first started going with me, we started going. Uh, 2016, wow. I think, was the last year he went with us because I finally got my okay. driver's license and um, <laughs> finally had a job. And he was like, all right, you're on your own now, man. Have fun. And I was like, all right. So then we started going. And then, like I said, every year we get, since 2016, we've gotten front of the line pass, um, open uh -huh. night. And then I, this was the first year that I've actually gone multiple nights. And I couldn't have picked a better wow. year to do that. I mean, Killer Clowns was there and Us was yeah. there and Ghostbusters. Yeah. So I was just beyond stuff. Holidays in Hell, there. by the way. Holidays in Hell. I meant to say, I love that one too. I, I love, Figure has been at the event before. And all the uh -huh. work he's done at the event has been beautiful. So when I heard that he was coming yes. back to do Holidays in Hell, I was uh -huh. like, dude, my boy Figure's coming back. I'm all for this. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was so good. You forget you're getting scared. It feels more like a dance party when you go through that maze, man. Like his yes. music is just so, it's like it's you into that mode, you know? 
Yeah, the like dubstep. I know. I'm just over there like dancing and stuff, and then the guy comes out just yeah. staring, just like, hey. <laughs> I know. I it's, know. Yeah, I love Figure Man. Figure, so fun. He's got such great albums. I mean, he's done so many albums based around like classic monsters and stuff. So I'll like listen to that during oh, work yeah. and stuff, and it'll kind of get me hyped to finish work and go home. <laughs> nice, nice. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I I like Figure and and uh, Figure and Slash. Yeah. Big shout out to them. They've been really big. Yeah. Uh, music coll- uh, collaborators over the last couple of years for Horror Nights, which those yeah. Universal Monster Mazes would be nothing without Slash's music, man. They sound so good with Slash's yeah. music. Um, that was beautiful. It was so cool. Right. Right when you walk in. I, yeah. I, I really wish you could have seen 2018's Universal Monsters Maze. Uh, it is like the reason why people love that property so much because of that 2018 maze was just beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I've heard that from a lot of people. You, I, yeah. People like talk about that one. If you get a chance, it's actually, the, they'll uh-huh. probably be a POV on YouTube. I mean, okay. it, it's not going to do any justice to what it was, but it, it will give you an right. idea of how it looked like. And that's all that yeah. matters. You just have to see it and just kind of look at it. I mean, it was just awesome. So I'm excited to see Ugh. if they keep doing the Universal Monsters brand. I mean, they're very popular mazes. And uh, yeah. I was actually very shocked of how Frankenstein meets the Wolfman uh, came to be because um yeah i'm usually skeptical about when when they bring on a property for two years in a row but this uh-huh. one they just nailed it yeah it like nail in the coffin. Yeah. it was beautiful <laughs> uh, yeah it was gorgeous it was so be- so scary it's, yeah those right. actors are really good too yeah yeah um <laughs> audrey before we go i mean it's been so <laughs> fun talking to us with you um you so too. fun just talking about the event with you I always save the hardest question for last. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Everything up until this point was super easy, but let's see if let's see yes. if that. I mean, it may not. It may be the easiest question for you, so we'll see. Okay. 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 What is your favorite horror movie? The Shining. Oh my easy. god, that was too easy yeah. right there. The Shining. I know. I know. I love it. Right. I love it. I wish it was you... probably like the. I saw it young. You know, right. really, really young, like you said. With clowns, so, yeah. Did you like Doctor Sleep? <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yes, right. I very much did. Yeah, I loved such, it. Such a good that little is, sequel yeah. and finish off to the yeah. to the film and the books. You know, it's. I mean, I love. Yeah. I'm a huge Ewan McGregor fan, so when I found out he was playing Danny, yeah. I was like, oh, "Dude, Obi Wan, come on!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, great choice. The Force is strong with yeah. that one. Yes. Like, Obi Wan's yes. playing Danny. Come on, <laughs> this doesn't get any better. Yeah. This is our time. <laughs> I know, right? I yeah, love, yeah. Uh, the Shining is such a fantastic. I wish, again, I wish you could have came yeah. to the event in 2017. They had a uh, Shining Maze, which was beautiful. Uh, um, oh, I wonder if that's on YouTube. I should go watch that Yeah, too. that's on YouTube yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, it's a very, I, I thought they did a fairly decent job uh, doing uh-huh. it. So it was, it was a fun time. If you saw a lot of the iconic scenes, again, uh, you mm-hmm. probably had the opportunity to m- meet the legend john murdy yes Yes. oh my god yes um, what a man him and his partner chris williams Uh i say it time and time again doing a a fantastic job bringing these events to life every year um and it's not just them too there's a whole team of people that that bring it but they're like Mm -hmm. the two names that are like kind of like do all the press and and kind of like the the household names that you know for horror nights but there's a whole team yes. so it's not just john murdy and chris williams but shout out to the entire creative team behind horror nights that put mm-hmm. this and, that, and that's not even that's including actors uh blackout actors um mm-hmm. the puppeteers you know the sound guys lighting guys uh des- the maze design guys prop guys everyone mm-hmm. involved with horror nights that bring mm-hmm. it to life each and every year it's like a huge team thing, and I just thank each and every one of them because without yes. everyone that does this event, they wouldn't be bringing our nightmares to life every single year with these iconic properties. And I, I just can't, especially that thank you goes to you too, Audrey, because you helped bring one of the greatest uh, horror films in our generation to life. Um, I'm honored to do it. Thank right. you. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got to bring the amazing craziness of elizabeth moss character to life which yes was honestly the turning like i keep saying the turning point of that film so you had a huge role 
And I cannot yeah. thank you enough for that. Same thing with Nicole. Same thing with everyone involved with the Us Mates. Like, I cannot yeah. thank that cast enough because I felt like I was mm-hmm. actually in the movie. And if they can accomplish yeah. that, everyone's doing a great job. Yes. So. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to all of those people. Thank you. Right. I think I, uh, let me hold on a second. I might have a little something for that. I do. I got a round of applause kind of thing. Oh. Yes. (laughs) I got a nice little round of applause for that. Got to love the soundboard. It's great. Um, (laughs) But yeah, I mean, John Murdy, Chris Williams. Uh um, I know John Murdy now, especially he's a, he's a real champion. I mean, he lives out in Ireland now. And he flies right. out here to for the you know every now and then to have meetings and to design help design the event and everything. Chris is mm-hmm. out here working on designs and stuff. So, I mean, uh-huh. I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to meet John uh, a couple of times at conventions. I ran into him at the opening night of wow. Horror Nights, which is really cool. And he uh-huh. is just a fantastic person. Always nice. Always willing to take a picture. He's awesome. Um, yeah. I hope Aww. to I hope to get him on the show one day to to talk uh, the past of Horror Nights with him. I, it would be a true honor and yeah. a privilege to do so. So, but yeah. oh my god. Uh, point being, uh, Murdy does a great job every year. Uh, whether people bag on him or not, it's not an easy thing to put on these events. I will agree. Mm-hmm. And uh, what they do every year to bring these events to life is truly phenomenal. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's casting amazing talent like Audrey and Nicole. Um, and among yeah. others um, <laughs> that I have yet to meet or maybe am going to meet in the future. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, get casted into these roles to help, like I said, bring these films to life, bring these originals to life to really tell a story. Uh, take a hour yeah. and a half movie and sum it up into five minutes, which is yeah really hard to do because there's so much that you probably want to put in this maze and you have to cut a lot to for timing and for what's going to get a better reaction from the audience, which... Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I again, mm-hmm. I can't thank enough for everyone involved with Horror Nights, uh, especially the talent, because the actors are what bring these iconic films to life uh, to your nightmares. And yeah, every year I go, it's just one of those things where I'm just like, oh my god, that was such a great maze. How are they going to top that next year? Aww. I mean, I, they keep doing it. Yeah, you can tell. I, mean, I have a love for this event. This is like something yes. that's been like ten years in the making that I love oh. doing. So I can see, I can see why it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it, is. it's it really is so fun. So, Audrey, I hope mm-hmm. we get to see you in 2021 back at the Hornets. Yes, and yes. Uh, we'll be excited to see if uh, you get cast for another Elizabeth Moss character. If they bring <laughs> They bring Invisible Man yeah. to the to the show. We'll see what happens. Yeah, um, she needs to just keep making these movies. I know, yeah, right? Just... <laughs> you have the per the it perfect uh, HHN double for her right here. Yeah, <laughs> yes. If you're watching this, Elizabeth, there you go. I love you. <laughs> we both love you, Elizabeth. You, you yeah, freaking amazing actress. We love you. Yeah. How have you yes. not won the Academy Award for Invisible Man? Like it needs to happen. Yes. Yes. Um, That's a stunner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Audrey, before we sign off, is there anything uh, social media wise you would like to plug in for people who can find you or anything? Sure. So on Instagram, I'll do I do comedy and stuff, so I'll post ca- uh, characters nice. and stuff. Um, and I'm Audrey Jane B on Instagram. So nice. yeah, you can find me there. Yeah. I gotta I, sketch I, I, comedy. I'm a big fan of comedy. I love comedy. I mean, one Hi. of my one of my great uh, inspirations for comedy is uh. None other than the man himself, Michael Scott, from The Office. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Gotta love him. What was it yeah. in 30, 30 Rock when someone says, that's what she said, and Tina Fey replies, no. Uh, Steve, that's Steve Corral's thing. He owns that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's true. Um, oh, my God. Tina. Tina Fey is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. SNL, back in the SNL days, great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Audrey, again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk with us about uh, HHN. Um, us, we were, it's been a pleasure talking mm-hmm. with you, getting more behind the scenes and um, getting to know more about an event that I truly love, making me love it even more. Um, yes. So. Of course. Thank you so much again. Mm-hmm. I can't thank you enough. I mean, I, I've, I've talked to Nicole about this, mm-hmm. but I would love for one day maybe we have a whole Us reunion 
on the oh yeah either on the podcast or a live stream yeah Yeah, that'd be fun the crew would be down absolutely they're down to clown so yeah just say the word yeah that would be fun we gotta maybe plan (laughs) we crew up i I think it'd be a great october thing maybe i mean especially because that's around the time of horror nights if we can get everyone together that'd be super fun it's gonna be chaotic but it will be so fun to see everyone reunite uh have a great time I mean, this obviously is the year of reunions. I've been seeing so much between uh, one of my favorite films of all time, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Uh, they yeah. had a reunion. Um, I know so many shows have been coming back for reunions. Parks and Rec did a reunion this year, which I was oh, in yeah. love with. I mean, yes. so this yes. is the year of reunions. 30 Rock, too. 30 yeah, Rock, yeah, 30 fun. Rock did it. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. Community, I think, did it. Um, oh, nice. So many people did it. This is the year of reunions. Let's Let's do it. I'm yeah, down. yeah. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sounds good. <laughs> All righty, uh, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed today's podcast, hit that like button. Leave some comments down below for Audrey to let her know how amazing she is uh, and how great yeah. she was in us. Um, <laughs> also, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. We have a merch shop. Check it down below. Links in the description below. Mm-hmm. If you guys like what you see, Mindless Horror Podcast merch, logo merch, East versus West, we have it all there. Face mask, a big thing needed for today. If you want to get a face mask, Nights of Horror style, we have them. Wear your mask. Slow the virus. Yeah. We're trying to get uh, haunt vents back on top. Uh, we want to all be there, have fun in 2021. I can guarantee you everyone we've talked to are going to be 500% ready to go. Because they miss it this season. They're going to be ready for 2021. It's yeah. going to be great. <laughs> Extra scary. <laughs> Extra scary. They're bringing it all. Everything yeah. is coming out. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's episode. Mindless Horror Podcast, episode 111. And we will see you guys next week.